Hey YouTube, I just wanted to make a quick follow-up video to my making 300 blackout brass video. And I uh, just want to introduce you to a little device that Lee came out with. It's the Power Quick Trim uh, Adapter. And this is a, a much faster way to make the 300 blackout brass. Now it still needs it still needs some modifications to be you know just right, but but uh, it's it's a really a much faster way to do it than I showed you in the previous video where we used the the hand or manual quick trim device. Still works well. Uh, this is just much faster, and and so the basics are on this is this is how you get it. it comes with your collar. It gives you adapter for different sizes. This is your adjustment ring here for depth. So you can adjust the cartridge overall length. And then this piece is the adapter. This adapter is actually available by itself. So if you already have one of these for a small price, you can just get the adapter and convert yours over. Or you can just buy it by itself. And uh, this one is, bear with me, uh, Lee part number, as you see it here, Lee part number um, 90670. So, this is, this is a really nice device. I got this for $19 from Titan Reloading. That was the best price I found. So I gave them the business and a shout out. So here we go. Uh, a couple of things with it. This is an adapter ring that comes with it. You're going to take that off for the blackout. Inside here, and if you've already seen my other video, you, you notice that uh, I've already covered a bunch of this, but I'll go over it briefly. There, it comes with a 3 8 ball. And this ball is to put pressure on these, string, these springs. Notice there's three springs in there of different size. You can see that. And then these cutters work independently. They all float on those springs, individual spring tension. Now, what I found with the 300 blackout, and if you saw my other video, was that I wasn't happy with the amount of cut that I got on, on uh, the inner and outer chamfer. The cut length was okay because that's done by this part here. But as far as chamfering and getting a nice clean chamfer in this area here, it just didn't work. I wasn't I wasn't happy with it. The the directions tell you to remove this ball. So we'll take that collar out and the ball. And then just put it back together like this. What happens is these inner springs that control the inner cutting blade don't have enough tension. And the outer springs have maybe too much tension. So um, in the previous video, I had just done a rig to use a, uh, a piece of a bullet tip to kind of engage those inner springs and not so much the outer springs. Uh, more than just going flush on the bottom of the, of the adapter, but less than using the 3 8 ball. So I, I've revised that since, taking some measurements, and actually what would work good in here is a uh, 1 quarter inch ball smaller than the 3 8 so an eighth of an inch smaller. Anyway, um, what I found was actually using a, um, let me call it a airsoft pellet. They're real close to a quarter inch, fit in there pretty, pretty good. Now see I'm engaging those springs but not the outer one, so that equalizes the pressure and it makes up for, see that right there, makes up for some of what I'm missing. Um, again, this is a rig, but it's easy to do. It didn't take much to get this to where it worked really well for me. I don't mind working with things as long as they produce good results and, and they're cost effective. Uh, certainly I can spend more money, but uh, this is a very cost effective way to do this. Now another thing I want to show you about this is one of my experiences. This ring right here, this adjuster ring, is very stiff. And you see I can rotate that. Hopefully you're getting that. Like that. All the way this way, like this, is longest and all the way this way is shortest. Now I run these at the longest because that gives me on the on the blackout 1.360 inches pretty much every time. So I run them longest. Um, there's not a lot of uh, potential for this cartridge to grow because it doesn't have much of a shoulder on it. So anyway, that's where I'm running that. Now, what I will say about this is I've, I over tightened this one time and it came, came loose and it actually popped off. And after it popped off, it wouldn't go back on. So 
it was frustrating because every time you tip it upside down, this ring would fall off. And here's the one that that happened to. This is actually fairly, I would call this low quality. So if I'm reviewing this, I'm going to say this is a weak spot. This and the, the lack of adjustability in the spring tension are the two weak points in here. But at $19, uh, MSRP for $25, it's worth working with. I was able to go on Lee Precision website and order these for a dollar a piece. I got four of them just to have them on hand. Um, when they when they ride on the bushing, they actually ride on this surface here because so I could see that surface wearing over time. Anyway, so I wanted to introduce you to that. And see here, this is the the die specific for the 300 blackout that you have to order. These are about 10 bucks. This fits in here like this, and I want to turn it like that. And the cool thing about this, what makes it a power trim, is this device right here is able to go into a drill or a nut driver or you know something you have that provides the the RPM to cut. So let me take you over to actually cutting with it. And I'll show you the results. Now I've got three pieces of brass here that I just cut in size. These are still too long. They need to be trimmed and chamfered. I'm going to show you I'm going to show you the length I've got here. You see that there? 1.372. So those that need to be trimmed down and they need to be you know chamfered so you can use them. So hang with me a second here. Okay, so here we are over at the uh, at the press. I've got it all set up with a power quick trim, and I've got my little porter cable nut driver here. And um, so we'll just run through this real quick. Now, what I do is I run it up all the way, put a little downward pressure, and I run it for about four seconds. So here I am at about 1.360, if you can see that. And dump the shavings out so you can see that. Now I'm going to try to get you a good look here, if I can, if it'll focus. There you see it. I've got a pretty even chamfer inside and out. And I did that in about four seconds on a $19 piece of equipment. So anyway, um, I went through and did some in time myself. And it looks like I, using this system, I haven't done a whole big batch with it, but using this system, uh, based on the timing I found, I can do about 100 pieces in about 25 minutes from start to finish. That's cutting it on the chop saw, sizing it, and then trimming it to final length. Now what I would say is, as you go along and you're doing these, go ahead and throw them in the bucket, but before you reload them, I would measure each one. Just do that one check, because if you do get one that's too long, we're, um, over 1.368, you may actually run into some chambering problems and not be able to go fully in a battery. So you want to make sure you take care of that. Anyway, um, I'm do these two for you real quick. I got left. There's the fines. And guys, it just doesn't get any easier than that. That's that is. These are really nice, nice rounds that we're making here, um, without a lot of work. Um, when I first started making this, I did some crazy stuff trying to make these 300 blackout. And uh, some guys on the internet come up with some good ideas, and um, Lee's just come out with this new power driver. This really puts the whole whole thing together, and, and still we're only looking at about total $70 worth of equipment to make plenty of brass. You can make, I, I really can't justify buying them now that I can make them this easy. So anyway, I hope this is helpful to you. If you uh, found something you can use here, Appreciate it if you help me get the channel going, press like, uh, click on the like button, or if you like, follow me and you'll see new videos as they come up. 
not going to be real prolific like some of the guys, but I uh, would like to put out a few do wherever I think I can help. Uh, I've been helped over the years a lot by folks that take time to do this, and I uh, figure it's my turn to give back if possible. So anyway, let me know what you think. Put your comments in the bottom there. Let's discuss it. If you see something I missed, let me know. Let everybody else know. And uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll talk to you next time. Bye.